Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, we are back with brick number three. So if this is the first video of these that you're watching, thank you so much, first of all, for tuning in. But we did a live stream where we unboxed an entire brick of the 50th anniversary Icons of the Realm set. And then I'm recording... Uh, just separately, each of the other three bricks that we are going to be unboxing, as I did get a full case of four. We got some insane stuff, but there is still so much that we need. My hopes of getting a complete set in just a single case are pretty much dashed with those 10 chase figures. I'm still holding out. I can get a complete set of the 50 base figures but those chase figures are tough i don't know if it's maybe one or two just to a, a brick which is probably likely we found two these are the two chase figures we found so far and at least they complement each other but there's still so many more that we need to get all right let's dive in we are moving on to brick number three here we go. Let's find out what we got. I'm excited for more of the figures, obviously, that we haven't already seen, but also some of the duplicates that I absolutely am still going to be interested in. Let's zoom in a little bit here, because some of these figures are absolutely ones that uh, you can definitely use multiples of. Some of the goblins, dwarves, elves, things like that. The gnolls, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing more gnolls because I'd love to get a big old horde of gnolls going. All right, here we go. Set number one. And we already start out with a new figure we have not seen yet. Oh, how exciting is this? This is the fifth edition Ifridi, which is fantastic because right over here we had the iconic first edition. So if you've seen any of the other prior videos I've done on these, you know, as soon as we get both, we do like to compare and contrast them. Uh, first, I'm just excited to have gotten the 5th edition one. I think it definitely has a more, you know, sinister edge to it. Uh, for for gameplay, like when I play in uh, Dicey Depths with these, which, are which is absolutely going to happen, this 5th edition one, I feel is definitely going to be perfect for that game. But when you're just talking about iconic characters, like I would, I'll play with this one and I'll display this one because I mean, you, you can't not, that's why it was out here because it is just so absolutely cool, but so excited to kick off with a new figure. Now uh, that second booster brick was a lot, a lot of duplicates. Speaking of which, we do have a first edition elf here and this is a duplicate for us, though I love it. I definitely want a few more of these. I'd love to have a legion of these first edition elves. Next up we have, I believe this is going to be our third first edition blink dog. I love, look at the face on that thing. Oh my gosh, that looks menacing. But I do love that it is a full dog. The fifth edition blink dog is like in mid blink, which is actually still very cool, but I do like the first edition as well. And then I did see this as we were, as I was dumping out the figures. This is also a new one for us, which is super exciting. Look at that. This is Osirok, fifth edition Osirok. So we have first edition. Now we also have 5th edition, and this is a very cool pose. I love the staff, and I love that he's holding that face idol situation there because it is the front and center of Osirok's treasure trove of those random dice packs that are very, very cool. So you'll have to forgive me again if I mispronounce anything. Um, because a lot of, I am relatively new to this, to be honest with you, to the Dungeons and Dragons lore and whatnot. So, I mean, why not jump in 50 years later right now? It hasn't been that long. I've only played in one campaign and that was maybe about five or six years ago. But I definitely have an appreciation for the old stuff, as you can tell from my fiend folio over there. All right. Big figure number two is 
the flail snail, the fifth edition flail snail, when we compared and contrasted these figures last time, I think we pretty much unanimous, unanimously said the fifth edition was the cooler fig, though the first edition has its charm for sure, because I love the nostalgic color scheme they went with on that one. And here we go. We were just talking about my legion of gnolls that I want. And here is another gnoll. I think this is the third, if not fourth, first edition gnoll. So my war band of gnolls is growing. And then here we have a Lemur. And when compared to the first edition Lemur, now in our live stream we had some dissenting opinions there a lot of people like the first edition i went with the fifth edition because i thought it just was creepier but obviously they both have their place and then here is one that i am so happy to see this is the first edition dwarf now this is one where i went first edition on this um, the fifth edition is cool i actually prefer the fifth edition hammer compared to the smaller hammer on the first edition but I also said definitely want more first edition dwarves, and here we go. A fantastic, I just love the look and the paintwork on this first edition dwarf. Fantastic, and that is only two of the eight. We're a quarter of the way through. We've already had a couple new figures. That's always exciting. Hoping, hoping to get some chase figures. I'd love to get some from the original cartoon. Um, I'd love to see Venger, Sheila, Bobby, Uni. I think those are the four that are from the original cartoon in there. Oh my gosh. No way. Even before we look at the big fig, look who we have. Oh my gosh. What did we just say? What did we just say? Oh my gosh. This is so, this is it. If there was one chase figure that I wanted more than any other, it was Venger. Oh my gosh, I am blown away. I am th absolutely thrilled. Look at that, number 60 out of 50. So this is our third chase figure, the first of our classic cartoon figures. Um, yes, I cannot believe we've just manifested that. <laughs> and that is so cool. But that's not all because there's still more figures in this pack, including our green slot. And uh, I don't know if we'll get another first edition one in this brick to compare it to. Uh, but this is the fifth edition. And I think it was pretty unanimous. We preferred the fifth edition. The first edition, I'm sure there's some uh, nostalgic for that, but it was just too fairly just look like a toad with a loincloth really all right next up we have a first edition kobold this gladly joins the rank of the rest of my kobolds i'm really excited to have a bunch of these guys i love uh the first i love both of them first and fifth edition kobolds that are in this set are perfect they work well with each other and uh, yeah, just happy to see that guy. And then last but not least, another one that I definitely, I think this is, all, I think this is just my second one of these. This is the Skeletal Knight. I believe that's how it is. It's Skeleton Knight. And this is first edition. Uh, we have a fifth edition of this guy and a first edition. Now we have two first editions. And I, th I think again, a Skeleton Knight. Um, is something that we can definitely do with duplicates of. So no um, disappointment there. Very, very nice. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe we got Venger though. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that is just way too exciting. I can't believe that happened. All right, who do we want to like say next? The other thing was I want the full scene from the player's handbook. I want this full scene actually. Uh, where it has the wizard, the archer, and I believe there's uh, the warrior as well, but it's just not in this clip. And then, of course, we have that dragon. Uh, the thing is, I'm like, oh, do I want them bad enough where I would go out and buy them? Because they are so expensive. Venger right now on Cool Stuff Inc. I think is like $45. Like, not even kidding. Are you kidding me? All right. What do we have in our next pack? We have, first off, this is our 
second, Kirin, this bizarre, someone's going to have to explain him. I'll have to look it up. What in the world this is? This is like a, cro- like, it looks like it has scales. It has a crazy amount of, I don't know, is that its main unicorn looking thing? Oh my gosh, it's quite the beast. All right, next up, we have a first edition goblin. And again, this is one that I absolutely love. Definitely want more of this guy. I think this is our maybe third or fourth of this one. So that is cool. And then we also have this blink dog. Now, is this the first one that we got both of in this brick, I believe, so we can actually do one of these comparisons um, because we now have the first and fifth edition Blink Dog. So as you can see, the fifth edition kind of mid-blink there, which I really like, uh, but the first edition will kind of work just as a regular dog too. So I'm liking those. All right, that was those two. And then look at this. This is our first duplicate in a brick. This is the first edition elf. It heard me say that I want a legion of these first edition elves. I don't think I have a fifth edition elf yet. So we're already getting duplicates of the first edition elf before we've even gotten our fifth edition elf. That's okay. There's still time. We're not in panic mode yet. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, like those chase figures are going for $30, $40 a piece. So, oh my gosh, this is a new one. Is this the, is this the fifth? Yeah, this is the fifth edition of the Key Rin. And I gotta say, I think I prefer this just because there seems like there's a lot going on here. I like the kind of noble stature of the fifth edition one. But very cool, we got a new figure. That's always exciting. All right, what else? Oh, look at this. We have two Lemurs in one booster, first and fifth edition. So this is a duplicate fifth edition one. And so you can see this first edition, again, people disagreed with me on this. They really preferred this first edition. Um, I thought its face was a little cartoony. But I get it if you're nostalgic for that kind of thing. But I just preferred this 5th edition one. It just looks so creepy with these grabby hands. Arrgh. All right, anyways. And last but not least, we have a 5th edition Mimic. This is our second, I believe, 5th edition Mimic. Very, very cool. Though I do wish... Well, I guess it doesn't necessarily matter. Because obviously there are treasure chests and whatnot. Just plain old dungeon dressing I would like, and then replace it with this uh, as soon as it pops out. Very nice. All right. We are cruising through these. Oh, my gosh. So we have three left of this brick. And are we going... Is it just one chase per brick, I wonder? Or are we actually going to get multiple chases? <gasps> we have a new figure. This is a new one for us. This is our fifth edition Pit Fiend. Oh my gosh. I know that because we've already seen a first edition Pit Fiend. I love this guy. He is so cool. Um... I like them both. Honestly, this may be another one where it's a tie for me. They both have similar vibes. I was going to look and see if I had the first edition one handy. Um, but this fifth edition one just looks so devilish. I just love it. But so does the first. I mean, yeah, that's another fantastic figure. Holy smokes. Ah, this is one we haven't seen for a while. Not since like one of the early first booster packs that we opened. This is a first edition bugbear. Now this guy, I did think he was a little goofy. A lot of people preferred him over the fifth edition one. I personally prefer the fifth edition bugbear. I'm going to have to do some hot and cold water treatment on that noodle he, he's holding there. But uh, yeah, um, I definitely get it. He's a iconic look to him. Old olden days look. But um, yeah, that's only our second one of those, I think. Ah, here we go. So now we can do another comparison because this is a fifth edition goblin. 
notice uh, how he looks compared to the first. Um, I preferred the first edition, but I love that the fifth edition's holding a bow and arrow. So if you've ever watched any of my other videos, like some of my warband reviews, I always decry the fact that there are very limited figures with range. So I'm super excited to see these goblins. Uh, the fifth edition goblin was chosen with a bow and arrow. And I think they still work together. All right. Last but not least, oh my gosh, this is another new figure for us. This is first edition Lolf. Excellent. We have fifth edition. Now we do have first edition. Very, very exciting. What number is she? 39 out of 50. Very cool. Love that. Very nice. We've gotten a couple new figures there. Next up. Second to last booster pack. What are we still waiting on? Uh, we're waiting on both of these. We still need the first and fifth edition of the Eidolon. Is that how you pronounce it? We also need fifth edition Strahd. We need... We got all those. Uh, we still need fifth edition Vecna. We still need fifth edition Vecna. And we still need fifth edition Strahd. Come on, we manifested this before. Can we manifest it again? Oh my gosh, we got something new here and we were talking about this earlier. This is, I believe, the 5th edition elf. Now this just looks like a player character, right? Now this one I don't think I want a lot of. I just, and let's just double check. Is this 5th edition elf? Yes. Um... Unlike the first edition elf, where I can see having like a legion of these guys, or even just one off, that is player characterish as well. This one, this fifth edition one, um, that looks fancy enough as like just a player character. So very cool. Now that has completed our elf situation. And I skipped right by this guy, of course, because we do have him. I think this is our third one of these guys. So that is, uh, again, the key Rin first edition. All right, anything new here? Oh my gosh, we were just, we did, we did it, guys. We manifested fifth edition Strahd. Oh, how sweet is that? I wanted this guy so bad. He's sitting in that throne. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool pose. I absolutely love this figure. Oh my gosh. Very, very cool. I can't believe that happened. We got two new figures in one booster pack and another fifth edition Blink Dog. Very, very cool. We got a lot of new figures. The stuff that we're still looking for is winding down. Um, again, our hopes of getting more than one chase per brick is dwindling. But we have to be happy with what we've got, especially if one of them is going to be Venger. Oh my gosh. This, what the heck? Oh my gosh. I was like, wait, what? This is a new figure for us. Holy smokes. It didn't have one of those plastic inserts. It was just wrapped in bubble wrap. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is the young gold dragon. Is this fifth edition? Yes. Are you kidding me? So here, and I when I opened the first edition one, I basically cried my eyes out. So you'll have to go get, because this was the one figure that I wanted more than anything. Um, and I did mention even at that time that this was definitely a display figure for me and probably not going to see a lot of play. Whereas this... So I love, I love the two versions because this is display for me. I can absolutely play with this one. So, but this was my figure of the whole collection that I absolutely must have. So yes, well, that was very, that was a very interesting way to get this guy because I was like, wait, there's no plastic insert in here. Well, that just made my whole brick right there. All right. And we have a first edition kobold. So now we can do our little, no, I'm sorry, fifth edition kobold. So we can do our comparison between the first and the fifth. And again, as you can see, they complement each other really well, I feel like. So that'll focus. I know they're small, but uh, yeah, I just love them. That's another figure I can absolutely have multiples of for sure. And then this is the perfect time to compare the bugbears. This is the fifth edition bugbear compared to the first. So first edition bugbear, 
obviously a lot of the first edition stuff was a little cartoony, right? But even if you get rid of the nostalgia factor and just look at them side by side, I do prefer the fifth edition. I just feel like he's a little more, uh, I don't want to say serious because I'm sure back in the day, back you old folks, I don't want to say old, you experienced folks who ran into a first edition bugbear like this probably were shivering in your timbers, but I mean, uh, you know, just me coming at it from a whole noob perspective. I just think this fifth edition one does look a little bit cooler. All right. The last and final figure out of this pack is, oh my gosh, it's the icon, the legend, the first edition Gith Yankee. How fitting we have our cover art as our final figure. Very cool. This was a fantastic brick. Oh my gosh. So what was new for me in this brick? There was a lot of new stuff in this brick. Holy smokes. Was there more new stuff in this brick than even the last brick? And you wouldn't think so, right? Like we've already opened two bricks. How many more new things could there possibly be to even open? Oh my gosh. Um... I believe that is it. So all of this, we've already opened two bricks and our, our, our brick number three, all of this was new. Oh my gosh, just one chase, which leads me to, and unless there are seven chase figures in that final brick, we're not going to get a complete set of the chases. I'm still holding out hope that we will get a complete set of just the basic 50. What do we still need? We still need, um, we still need fifth edition Vecna. We still need both of these Eidolons. Um, those are the only two that are coming to mind. So to be very interesting, we have one brick to go, folks. All right, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and until next time.